working with MS in Tenerife. We're here on the top end of Los Cristianos in between the motorway and the Valdez Centre. And I'm here with Colin. Good morning. You all know Col. And uh, we've been asked yesterday, and I, I meant to look at the name, but I forgot the name. We were asked yesterday to, uh, if we can walk from Villa Mandy down to the beach. And uh, I don't think I've got time to get to the beach today, but I'll show you uh, the walk to the bus station. So that should be all right. And um, I know I'm on a bit early because we've got to be a bit sharpish today because I've got to go to doctors at 12 and I've got to get Christina up. So where are we, you may ask? Well, if we look in the background over here, we've got the, what's it called, Chefita? Chefita. Chefita Mountain. If you haven't seen Cole's viral video of that, <laughs> you have to go and watch it right now. If I remember, I'm going to put it up in the corner, right? Yeah. I saw him the other day. The you man. did? Yeah, I saw him walking in Los Cristianos. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, go and watch it. Yeah, yeah. Cool, dude. Yeah, go and watch that. It's one of the best ones I've ever seen of the guy. And he must have spent hours editing. And uh, <laughs> it's really, really good. So we are in the, well, it's basically the new, newly whatever, developed. <laughs> and um, it's just been released for building. It was derelict for ages, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's in between the motorway coming in Los Cristos down the hill towards the big roundabout. And we're, if you're coming down the hill, we're on the right-hand side. And Villa Mandy's uh, backing onto the golf course here. So uh, I'll let me show, show you around. They got a new football training ground here as well, which looks really nice. That's not AstroTurf, is it? Looks real to me. No, it's AstroTurf, that isn't it? Is it? I think so. What are they in? No, they're in trainers. Uh, they're in trainers? Yeah, it's got to be AstroTurf. Yeah. It's got to be AstroTurf, is it? It looks, it looks good, though, doesn't it? Yeah, nice and bean. Cool, yeah. There you go. We've got 26 people watching, 10 thumbs up already. I don't know it's going to be good, that's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Tony Tabaro, good morning. Oh, we've got somebody to read the, read the things now. Yeah, Here we go, we've got a zombie. <laughs> a guy walking around looking at his phone. <laughs> I was like that. A, a zombie. zombie. So, yeah, well, so let's have a look on the corner here. Oh, yeah, it's AstroTurf, isn't it? Yeah. The gardeners couldn't cut that straight. <laughs> is this the cheap AstroTurf? <laughs> the, the dark That's where one? they wiped their feet before they go on the rear. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Greer is on. Good morning, happy people, and we are happy. I don't know why you don't come and live here, Carl. Well, that's the plan long term. Yeah. And it's taken a major step forward this week because Saf still likes it here. So. Uh, All right. So basically, <laughs> she thinks we've just brought her on holiday, but it's yeah. like it was like a sales pitch. All right. <laughs> so you're going to stick her in school here, or is it you're going to wait till she's finished her I'll, education? No, I'm going to have to wait till she's finished. Still. Yeah. yeah. I can't do that. She's she's just going to start her GCSEs when we go back. Uh -huh. uh, she takes them in May, June. Uh, so we'll see what happens after that. Then she's looking at A-levels. So it's going to be a couple of years yet, which you know gives me a chance to sort of sort myself out. You know, if I had my time again, and if I had children, I'd say sod A-levels and sod university, because it's not doing anything for you these days. That's a point, isn't You've it? You've got to learn a skill yeah. Yeah. and do it to the best of your ability. In fact, I tell people this all the time. Yeah. The, the the workplace is changing. Absolutely. You've got to yeah. find something you bloody love. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do it to the best of your ability. We'll have to go the other way, I think. Bill really? Mandy's over here. Oh, oh yeah. no, we'll go over the zebra crossing because we're uh, we have integrity. We're doing it properly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, find something you love, <coughs> do it to the best of your ability, and it doesn't matter what it is, somebody'll pay you to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um that would be nice. But she's got her heart set on a particular path at the moment. I know she's 15, things change. So I'm going by that. Um, but yeah, no, it's a massive step forward this week. She, she does she, the flight thing that she, was, she had a, a fear of. Take my life in my hands. Oh, we'll let him go. We'll let him go. We'll let him go. Yeah, the flight, th the flight thing that she had a fear of, she smashed that. Um, you know, and I, I knew deep down it wasn't an issue. She just needed to sort of get on a plane, uh -huh. uh, you know. Um, and yeah, but she, nah, she loves it here. She loves it here, so it's a big step forward. Cool, dude. So here we go. Sorry, too many good looking people in town. I'm going to stop you. <laughs> That was your car then, we didn't park here. Oh, <laughs> that's my car before I wash it. <laughs> Super Mercado, here we go. 
when do we get to it where you're there with the what's it called oh you know you know why I, i'm wondering why my bloody gimbal's going to be you i forgot this this new se yeah and if i do that it sort of like oh, does the yeah. old you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm going to do that and then press that it and now it's yeah. keeps straight there you go all terrain man there you go is villa mandy near gran oasis I don't know where Grand Oasis is. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's near Granada Park. Yeah. And Compostela Apartments, Golf Apartments. I don't know, I'm sure that it's not near Granada Oasis. That's Granada Oasis. So this is Bia, in fact. Bia, is that how you pronounce it? Bia Mandy Golf Resort. I believe you've got some really good entertainment here. Are you staying here? Can you speak English? Yeah, Can I ask you some questions? We're not, we're not staying here. Not... We're just looking at the road. We're waiting to be picked off. All right, OK. OK, where are you staying? Granada Park? No. Granny what? The Granada Oasis. OK, Granada Oasis. Ah, where, oh, it is. Where, where, where is it? it? Where is it? It's just a where? There you go. There question, you go. Question there answered. You. Question is, has been <laughs> answered. Somebody just asked us that as well. We're live on YouTube. So it's a great, somebody asked us to come and say hello because they, they can't afford an holiday. So they said, can you just go and uh, film it for us? Thank you, ladies. Have a nice day. You too. So it is near Gran Oasis. I'm going to put this down now. It's a uh, five-star apartments. Wow. Five-star apartments. And tonight they've got a tribute to Lionel Richie. No. They have. Lionel Richie tribute? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. He looks good, doesn't he? Yeah. Hello. Is it, <laughs> is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Hello. Monday. Oh, okay, we've got all this look. Mini Archery, dish. yoga. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. What have we got on today then? Pilates, ping pong. I like that. That's like ping pong. No, with... on Wednesday. Oh, we're Wednesday, are we? Yeah. Fashion uh, show. Darts, there you go, Terry. That's where you're going at 12, isn't it? Fashion show. Fashion show, ping it, pong, there you go. So you're going to have a couple of ping pong balls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a killer pool. Oh, no, that's... What's that? Killer pool and water polo. Very nice. Wow, well, there. look at the pool. There's no one here, is it, to stop us, so... Uh... Yeah. Very nice. There we go. Restaurant. Restaurant, pool. There's a golf course. Uh huh. So you can catch golf balls. Hello. Very nice. Very nice. So, where's the wheelchair? Oh, there's the wheelchair entrance. Luggage trolleys. Hey. Five star apartments. Yeah. Looks pretty good. <coughs> I didn't turn do not disturb once I'm getting all my YouTube uh, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Well, this looks nice as well. So it's not just a pool bar, is it? you got a chill-out zone as well and a kid's playground. So there's the end of the pool. Is that another pool? That's the same one, just the sort of far end, isn't it? Was it a little splash pool? Could be a little kiddie pool. Yeah, a little kiddie pool. It looks quite nice here. Yeah, it is a little kiddie pool. Cool dudes, here you guys are saying. We've got 65 people on. Craig's this morning, Julie Wade's on, David Butler, Anne Marie's on, Roger Channing, uh, Mark LFC, Charlie's on. Uh, Mark Wiltshire says, lovely walk around here, end up at Mercadonna for a coffee, cheapest in Lost Chris, possibly the best. Okay. Um, Michael Penny's on, Gemma's on, Gemma Edwards, hi Tim and Cole. Janet says trees are starting to look pretty there.
covered in blossom. Watch my bloody step. Yeah, watch your step. I don't remember going up one. <laughs> uh, Terry <coughs> Dev is villain bandy nigger. <coughs> oh, yes, it is. See, I know, Cole. I don't yeah, know why you didn't know. Ian Greer, good morning. Emma Kelly, good morning. Tony Tabarro, Dominic, Margaret, Mark. That's it. I think we've got everybody. Is this Las Americas? No, this is definitely Los Cristianos. Uh, we're just going to walk to the end here. And then I think you can't get out here, can you? I don't know. Well, we'll have a quick look. The green team says good morning. Raining in Warrington, just for a change. So this is the road. Okay, let's go to the park. We've been on 10 minutes already. Got to be pretty sharp today for me. So, Cole, everybody knows you. So I'm not no, gonna, they don't. I'm no not one gonna, knows, no I, one knows I'm me. I'm not going to interview you or anything like that. <laughs> but what you've been doing on your holiday. First oh, of all, where are you staying, if you don't mind me asking? Been getting up to all sorts. I'm staying um, in Las Americas beyond um, Paddy O'Kelly, uh, Irish bar, opposite Columbus, uh, in a private apartment, which has been absolutely fantastic. Great location, uh -huh. if you like Las Americas, because it's right in the middle. Uh, what I've been doing, everything and anything really. I get, I left it all to Saf. See you guys. So he's at, uh, ooh, I thought I was going to go down the step then. I left it all to Saf um, to sort out what we're doing in the day. We've been uh, basically been exploring. We've, we've been sort of, yesterday we did a whole circuit of the island, went up to Masca, uh, went to Puerto de la Cruz. So you had a car? Yeah, yeah, I've got a car. Uh, we went, um, we've been up El Medino. Uh, been to Sign Park. We're going again later on this afternoon. Um, oh, all sorts. Cool days. Absolutely all sorts. We haven't stopped, to be fair, apart, apart from Monday when she was a bit iffy. But no, we haven't. We had a beach day. Um, yeah, all sorts. Been absolutely great. And you came to see me? <coughs> came to see you very briefly. <laughs> what day was that? I don't even know what day that was. Up and grapes, right? The first day? Yeah, yeah. Was it Wednesday, so that, wasn't it? Yeah. That seems a long time ago, but only five minutes ago. If I you know, know exactly what, I mean. what you mean. You know, it's like uh, everything. So this looks nice. Always seems to be cloudy when I stayed up there, but we walked down to the beach. It was lovely and sunny. It was. So uh, we're going to go this way. There's the old jet tualities. I mean, the beach is a bit of a walk from here, isn't it? It's not, I mean, it's, it's there's the Valdez Centre, so there's the bus station, so it's not that far. Yeah, it's, it's not undoable, but it's not on the doorstep, is it? No, I think basically the problem you've got is crossing the road. So what I recommend is that you walk straight down this road here, over the road to the school, and at the school there's a bridge that goes over the motorway. Yeah. Uh, over the dual carriageway, sorry. Yeah. So that's what I would recommend, but I wanted to see the park in this area. Yeah. Because we're not going to make the beach and back in this... in in 45 minutes, are we? Doubt so. So, uh, I said I would, but I'm not doing it. That's quite nice, heading to work. Just quick, go and have a good day, everyone. Thank you very much. It's quite nice. <laughs> so we're coming back the way we were. So there's the football place again. If you're on from the beginning. If you weren't, uh, here's some police getting rid of people, I think. Builders, aren't they? I think one guy's a copper. The yeah. guy with the blue one. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, it clearing the site, I think. Clearing the site. So this is going to be quite good. Sub's on. Remember Sub? Yeah. Sub's on, right, Sub. Wayne Greer, who it is. Julie Wade's on. Are you and David having a lovely time, Anne? Simon Farrens. Good morning, Simon. Mark LFC. Getting a lot of new followers this trip. Yeah, I'm actually. Uh, Gained a couple of hundred over the past week. To be How fair. many subscribers you got now? Uh, 4,200. Did you hit the 4,000 here? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, no, yes, did I? Can't remember. Yes, I did. Literally about a day after I arrived. Cool dude. <laughs> cool dude. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Martin Voss is on. And I'm talking to Julie. So as you can see, there's a bit of a hill here. Yeah. But I think the park is this way. So we're going to go take our lives in our hands. There's a lot of land here that could be developed, isn't there? 
I mean, it was designed to be developed, yeah. but the council was so corrupt that they were giving out uh, licenses to, to mates, I think. I'm not sure, and I don't want to be litigated against, so allegedly. I'm just speculating. Allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> but, I mean, it was so allegedly that the council ended up in prison. <laughs> and they voted somebody else in. And now it's going ahead. So here we go. You don't want any tanks through here. Just in case Ukraine invades. <laughs> yep, there's a, a crane look. So he must, looks like he's doing that's something. Dismantling the fairground. Oh, that's the fairground, is it? Yeah. All right. So just hold that set while I sort my pants out. Yeah. So Col's the vlogger today. Collie vlogger, we call him. <laughs> I had the dinner with Johnny the other night, Johnny Vlogger, if you're watching. <coughs> nice lad. Went for the Chinese and he paid the lion's share. Thank you so much, Johnny. It's because he nicked the balls. He did what? <laughs> it's because he nicked the balls and cutlery. He nicked the balls, he did that. He's telling me about that. Should have just put a deposit on it and then not took it back. <laughs> you got sun cream on? Yes. Good man. Damien didn't the other day. Oh. Enjoy the walk, guys. Off to walk. Catch Donald, our English pointer. Catch. Doggy do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> JBM Travels is on. Do you know that guy? Yes, yeah. I met Jay. He came to Bournemouth last uh, When was it? About October, November, I think it was. Uh huh. Goes around all Britain to like random towns and cities and stays in hotels. How are you, Jay? And Mark Alice says, and Tim, how do you feel about Webby's latest walkabout vlog? It's like you and Kev the Scotsman, till the end, all in one Webby's learning. You know, we were talking about that the other night. So, oh, of course, litter down here, isn't it? Yeah. This must be Doggy Doo. Doggy Doo, Ali. All right, Ali. So, uh, we were talking about it, and I think what he's done, Webby Sports Roundup's a good idea. Is he in the chat? I haven't seen him. Uh, uh, Webby Sports Round is a good idea, but it's a broad church, right? Yeah. If you're doing rugby union, darts, snooker, football, Scottish football, all that stuff, right? Yeah. Non league football, then you don't actually get the fans coming in. Yeah. Because the fans does not want to listen much about Liverpool if they support United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is he needs like 16 channels. Yeah. <laughs> and do the same amount of work, but just put the videos into the channel where it belongs. Yeah. And then you can get... Like a playlist. Like a playlist. Yeah. Well, I mean, the playlists are also the same, but you're not going to get the subscribers if every time they get a ping, it's nothing to do with you. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, United, United, and the dawn's having a coffee. You want to head that way, or is it that way? Actually, this is the park right oh, here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I can tell because there's a fence. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be able to... Uh... I should have brought my drone, actually. So we're going to go up to the road. Oh, here we go. Now they've, they've, they've fenced it off. Hang on. No, they've definitely fenced it off. But it's nearly finished. If you look on Google, it's actually in Google now. Yeah. So it must be finished quite a while. But I've seen people walking dogs, so there must be a way in. Do you want um, an exclusive for your channel? Here we go. An exclusive story. There we go. I was going to put this on mine. Oh. But I'll put it on yours. He's a good lad, isn't he? On, what night was it? Saf, Monday night. Yeah. Saf lost her iPhone 15. Well, yeah. she didn't lose it. She left it behind, to be fair. Yeah. And got it back. You're joking? No. Where? Long story short, she was rough all day. About half nine, ten o'clock, I think, when it cooled down, she perked up. And she says, come on, what, what, said, let's go out for something to eat. So we went down into Las Americas. And uh, she's got a little Chinese takeaway, some rice and, you know, a rice bowl and what have you, yeah. and some soup. And uh, she says, Dad, I don't really want to go back to the apartment, I'm liking the fresh air, nice uh -huh. and cool. She had a bit of a temperature, she says, can we go down to the beach and eat it? So it's about, what, 11 o'clock now. Okay. Goes down to past Saks Bar, Jags Bar, where the surfers beach is. Uh -huh. Sat there, and she says, are you getting anything? I went, I don't want anything. She says, well, this is a bit hot. So okay, well, we'll go for a walk. 
so we'll go towards Veronica's and by the time we get there it'll cool down and I might get a burger or something. Uh -huh. Gets all the way to Veronica's at the back of Veronica's and says, right now listen, zip your bag up, put your phone away, zip your bag up and just keep hold of your bag. She was okay, starts checking, she'd left her phone on the bench <laughs> by Jack's bar. Yeah, and uh, she was going nuts, well so was I. You know, so I had to, I had to sprint. Uh, I was like, what's his name? You know what I mean? It's Usain Bolt. That's him. And it was still there. <laughs> <laughs> On the bench. Cool dude. Face up. There's all these pitch ponies going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, she, she got it back. So, a lesson learned, I think. Well done. For her. Well done for getting it back. I've never run like that. Since I've had my dodgy knee <laughs> in January, I didn't, I didn't know I could still move like that. So there's a there's a guy doing work. It doesn't look like we're going to get in it, does it? Nah. Let's just walk to the corner. You we'll probably get a better view. And show everybody where we are. Yeah. Maybe up there yeah. and look down. It doesn't look like a kids' play park or something. Ray Duffy's on. That was lucky, says Julie. David Butler says, great, Saf got a phone back. The funny thing was, there was a fellow in one of the bars along the front there by Tenerife Sol, yeah. playing guitar, singing, you know, doing party songs for about 20 people. Yeah. And he noticed us walk past towards Veronica's, because yeah. he sort of gave us a nod and I think he wanted us to go in. Then about five minutes later, he saw me running back. <laughs> 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 Must have thought he's abandoned his kid. Morning, Betty. What's it going to be used for? The park? I think it's just recreation, to tell you the truth. It's a bit concretey for the park, isn't it? Yeah. So we're not going to be able to see much else from here. And I don't think we're going to get in. Bit of Hang on. Is that somebody? Or is that a worker? She doesn't like a worker. It's a woman with a bag. How did she get in? Then there's fountains over there as well, look. Yeah. Tim, are you going to Loro Park? We don't actually do tourist stuff because Christina can't see and Loro Park's a bit far for me. So this is the main road from the motorway down in to Los Cristianos and there's a woman with a bag but I don't know how she got in. Morning Tim, over in three weeks see, with my new knee replacement, there you go, there's Ian, mm. Ian what, Ian M Mawson, hope I said that right. Charlie, I'm thinking you're going to mask him when we get over there. Is it worth the trip, Col? I was there yesterday. Uh, it depends what you're going for. If you're going to take some, if, if you're a photographer or, uh, you know, you want to do a nice vlog, then, yeah, go for it. Um, but I've got two bits of advice for you. If you're going for any other reason, don't bother. But if you are going for that reason, get yourself there nice and early because you've got about... 2,000 people an hour descending on it and about 30 parking spaces. Wow. And the parking spaces are prioritised for the coaches and Jeep safaris. And disabled? No. Didn't see any disabled stuff? <coughs> There's none. Is the village disabled friendly <coughs> at all? No. No? None. I mean, there is, you've got two ways of getting down it, a steep sort of rocky set of steps, uh -huh. or you've got a gradual path. Uh -huh. Now, yeah, you can get a wheelchair down it, but it's made out of like the volcanic sort of cobblestones, so right. it'll be a bit, if you're in a wheelchair, I personally wouldn't. I think she works for the council because she's talking with her. Yeah, she's chatting to the... Yeah, unless oh, he's escorting her out. There is a kids' play park. There is a kids' play park, yeah. Yeah, yeah you get down there, there's a little uh, ice cream shop, a couple of, a couple of like little cafes, and you take your pictures and that's it, you've got to walk all the way back up, so... 
it's worth it if you you know if you're curious and you want to see it. It's absolutely stunning, to be fair. It's you know beautiful. And don't forget the opening to Wonder Woman uh, was filmed there. Was it? The opening where it flies down the gorge onto the beach. Right. And then turns around and there's a big sort of like Amazon castle on top of the hill. Oh right, right. That was there. That was CGI though. Ah. So An Angry Bello Graham uh, says, uh, who's the handsome 25-year-old you're walking with, Tim? Oh, yeah, Graham, best mate. 24. Anyway, to get it right. <laughs> We're asking your age, not your IQ, mate. <laughs> no, go there. I wouldn't say don't go there. If, again, and if you're hiring a car, uh, some, of the, some of the little hairpin bends are a bit sketchy as well. If you're hiring a car on Tenerife, just turn the little screw under the seat. Hey. That was an old uh, hiring donkeys in Blackpool. Oh, right. Can you hire these donkeys? Yeah, there's a little screw under the seat. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Villa Bandy for you. And uh, what's the one next to it? Compostela. Compostela Golf. Is Golf. Granada Park. And Granada Park up the top. Yeah. And o Oasis something or others there as well. Probably take an excursion. That's probably a good idea if you want to, somebody to tell you about it. Yeah, because the coaches, uh, as I say, coaches get priority with parking. Uh -huh. uh, well, they seem to. There's a, there's a, a dedicated lay-by, which is big enough for about four or five coaches. Uh -huh. So, yeah, you probably, if, if you're hiring a car, get there early. If you're going on a coach, just rock up and enjoy. OK. Is there a place for a coffee near you? Uh, there's loads in lots of America. What time is it now? Uh, 20 past nine. 20 past nine, OK. What we'll probably do. Or, or, or walk over there. Now, what I think we'll do is yeah. get the car yeah. and drive into town from here. Can do. And then uh, show people how far away. Show town. people how far away it is. I waited to wait, wait till that woman came out, but she didn't come out. She's chatting to the phone. And she looks like she's a worker of some sort. Uh huh. As long as she's not a worker. <laughs> I've done a vlog on Masker anyway, but it won't be up yet. I've got about half a dozen videos to knock together. But it uh, won't be up before I go back. It'll be up sometime over the weekend or next week. All right. And uh, it actually shows you the drive there as well. So So you went up the motorway to the end? Yeah, you go up through uh, from here. You go up through past your way. Yeah. Up through the tunnels to San... You go past Dan's um, quad office. Oh, the quad office, OK. San Santiago. Del Tady. Yeah. Uh, when you, uh, it's dead easy to get to actually, if you just follow it up, you come off at San Diego LTD, you go round and round about where they're building the new road, you go to Dan's office, this is where the sat nav took me, where Dan's quad bike centre is, you'll see it on the left, you turn left there, it looks like you're going down a little side street, then all of a sudden you're back out in the countryside and the roads are this wide, from, from this kerbstone to that kerbstone, and in most places a bus and a car have got to get past. Yeah. And you're on that for about four miles, and then all of a sudden it drops down into Masca. OK, so I didn't see any any easy access here. No. So uh, they obviously don't want people in there. But I'm sure I saw people walking dogs. The old dog walkers. My car's still there? Yep. <laughs> so we're on 28 minutes, so if you can hold the thing in the car, we'll... Uh, yeah, do it. We'll do that. The only thing I'd say about staying out here is you're out on a bit of a limb, aren't you? It depends. I mean, you know. if you if you take the walk into town as your constitutional, yeah, you're all right. And get a taxi back for a yeah. fiver, yeah, well, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Cardiac Hill. True. You know. So, but it looks quite nice actually. Um, uh, my um, godson actually stayed there. Yeah. Ooh, and I got it. Yeah. Here we go. What is this? This is the barrier. <laughs> oh, shout out to Steve, North Tenerife man. There we get a double North Tenerife man whammy here. Give us a wave. Do, 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 do. What's that music you play there? <laughs> Probably a Sheffield Wednesday theme tune or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I missed it yesterday. Gutted. So look in the camera and point to the. Uh, what? Oh, thing. Sheer feeder. Yeah. Yeah, is this, this is where I'm going to put the thing again, right? <laughs> is that it there? That right is there. it there, yeah. There <laughs> you go. So go and check that one out from Cole. <laughs> it was one of the first ones he did. 
and uh, you just fart then. No. All right. Shoes are going to kill me. <laughs> Ray Duffy, Ray's about. Coming soon, Carl. Still get black eye. And the leg, he said he broke his leg, right? Yeah, it's the I leg of his glasses. glasses. We Bloody call click, it the arm. Bait, mate. We Bloody... call it the arm, not the leg. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the glasses of the arm. <laughs> the leg of my glasses. Uh, Peter Blake's on. Morning, Peter. How are you doing? What I should have done was at Cole's place in the title, shouldn't I? And then all your people would have come on. You'd have lost people. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the road here on that um, show, Peter. See it? Going to where it's carved. And yeah. It goes round to the front where that... Is that a road, is it? Yeah, it's an actual road. It's about... You can fit a car on it. Yeah. It's a, it's a car But nobody would, road. I don't think, no. Yeah, people drive round there. Cause they when, do? Yeah, when I was filming that day, yeah. they were um, they were filming round there. It's like a, they were using it as a film set. Okay. Yeah, they had like a DJ set up and they were filming something or other. Probably a music video. Yeah, yeah. 124 <coughs> people watching. Nice. 48 Good. thumbs up. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Duffy, thank you for the coffee. Duffy coffee. Thank you so much. We've been on 30 minutes. So we're going to go to a little bit more, uh, what's it called? Urbanised. Urbanised. <laughs> and grab some, uh, grab a coffee. Then I've got to leave about 10.15. Tim asked Connor to tell the story about what happened when he got hit by a door. <laughs> I thought everybody knew about that. Who's, that was who's asked that? Jay saying that. JBM. I presume he means when I was here on my last trip, on my uh, birthday week. Yeah. And uh, I blame Eric. Uh, yeah, I'll get him first, he's going to pass it to us. Oh. Thought you were driving then, did you? I know, yeah. <laughs> right, put that there. Now, when I turn it on, it's probably going to try and connect to Bluetooth. Is it? Right, so if we lose anybody, it's Tim and his gadgets. There we go, we're in. Oh, God, it's I better put my seatbelt on. Back, I? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it off in a minute. All right. Uh. Uh. Morning, Trisha. Trisha's on. Larry K. Be hi, Tim and Handsome Boy. Oh, yeah. Uh. yeah. <laughs> I haven't got that far. Hi, Tim and Handsome Boy. I read the caption. In Malay, he means bath. OK, Larry. Ollie's on, me, me nephew. Morning, Ollie. Uh, Ray Duffy, quick question, Tim. Hit call. Just a minute, I've got to film this. Hit call. <coughs> ah! Oh, I just missed it. There you go. Sick of getting bullied. Missed it for a biscuit. What I'm actually going to do, I might lose you here, gentlemen, but I'm going to turn Bluetooth off. Will that? No, yeah. If I yeah. turn Bluetooth on, the other one. That'll turn your Wi-Fi off. I'll turn it on. Okay. Well, yeah. on. okay. Are we still there? Let me check. Are we still on? Sounds yeah. gone funny. No, I'm still there. We're there. We're there. I can hear us. It's connected to the radio, Tim. It isn't connected to the radio now, is it? We're still on. We're still on. Look. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. Right, if I turn down. Right, okay. There we go. I'll turn it on because the thing's not working. The, the delay's gone from 10 seconds to 12 seconds. Has it? <laughs> right. So, should I commentate the journey? Yes, please. Right. So, oh, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to head up a hill. Uh, we're in the right gear. Yes. Let the taxi pass because he's zooming. Send you on your driving test. So when you're ready, can you please pull out to the left and proceed straight ahead? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just doing this because racism I'm a terrible driver. No Lewis Hamilton was in town. Racism I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> here we go, bump, bump. So we're gonna turn left down here, past Beer Mandy, if I can. Beer can Mandy, I? no. Yes, you can.
I'm not so, saying I'm not saying Tim driving's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Granada Park up here. So let's have a quick look. So if you're in Granada Park, this is a bit of a hike. This is not an area of the town I've ever been in, gotta be honest, unless I've been lost up here one night. Uh, the plantation or whatever it's called is here as well, not the plantation, there's something else. The supermarket. So this is Granada Park, right at the top. Alright. Hang on, we've got a bit lopsided here. Just double click this trigger. There we go, done it. This is the Gran Oasis. Yeah. You want to take a picture of the blonde Gran Oasis? Stoy. <laughs> Practice of biology in Britain. You're going to have back on the right now. <laughs> so what's this one called? This is where those two girls were, I think. Is there a sign? It's on the side there. Oh, it's on the side there. Yes. I'll let you pronounce that. Madrigueras. Madrigueras, Madrigueras. What about? So Madrig, that could be dawning or something like that. Yeah? Tim is a good driver, says Julie Wade. You're a good driver, Larry. Are we going for a coffee? Yes. If we get a parking spot, we're going to go for a coffee. And it's only 9.28. I've got 45 minutes before I need to make a move. Ray Duffy, 20 questions, Tim. Hit Colin. <laughs> Ask uh, me anything. What comes after the number zero? Hey? In sequence, what comes after the number zero? Uh, well, uh, you're probably going to come out with a massive answer. One. And what comes after the number one? Two. And just carry on that until 20, and that's your 20 questions. There you go. So this is where you would walk into town. Into town. Now you would actually carry straight on here, but I can't drive straight on here. But we're going to do a shimmy shake, and uh, we'll come back out at the other end of this street in a minute. So this is one way, and I'm only going one way. So I remember we we stayed. Uh, there was myself, Saf. Uh, man, we stayed at uh, what you call it, um, Compostela Golf Apartments, yeah. When they just started building Park Santiago Six. Oh wow! It was a shell, and it stopped. They stopped building it for some reason, probably at the time you were on about before. Yeah. Uh, they stopped building it, and we came back a year later, and nothing had happened to it. That was about 2014, I think it was. Uh, 2015, round there, and um, then I came back. Couple of years later, and it was all up and running. Looking cool like dude. it was now. Oh, uh, trimming your arms. So this is a school. Yeah. And the bridge is just beyond the school, I think. Yeah. Oh. We're slightly lopsided there. I wouldn't worry about it. All right. We're not after an Oscar. No. I wish I was an Oscar Mayavina. That's it, because the Compostela Golf's on the right, isn't it? Yeah. And the other one. So this is where you come out. Yeah. And then there's a place near Mercadona for a coffee that we could go to. If we get a parking spot, let's just go into the park, car park. Ah. Yeah, because this was literally a shell. We used to come out, I think, to see it every day. Uh huh. And, uh, Not doing very well with the camera, are you? Missing them all? No. I can't go this way, can I? Don't know. No, no, you have to go around the front, don't you? That's the way out. Uh, oh, we go. Simply good. Colin, can you do morning lives? Um, I can't. I, I don't mind doing a morning live. Uh, I won't do while I'm here because I'm going. Uh, I'm going home tomorrow. I can do them in Bournemouth, but I don't get the consistency of uh, good weather that likes of Tim gets over there. In the summer, uh, when Tim's finished his morning walk, I can sort of piggyback onto that and take you around Bournemouth on a nice morning. Look at that camper van. Good, good paint job. Um, yeah, so 
In the summer I can, in Bournemouth, because I don't like going out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a go live together. Yeah, absolutely. Tim, don't shout at the bikers, please give them room. Is that Ray Duffy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Cole, tell, getting... I ran over a biker once. Well, he ran over me, to, say, to tell you the truth. I was uh, going down towards home, and I was turning left, and he tried to overtake on the left. Yeah. Which, first of all, he shouldn't do. Sorry, man, you wait. No, no. no. You're going to have to go all the way back down, or I don't think so. I can come round here. Yeah. It's indicating right and turning left. That's good. I don't know the other day. There we go. Park Santiago Sace, ladies and gentlemen. Parking spot here, does it? That's some sharp and jumping one, I think. It's quite busy, isn't it? Oh, do you have to pay? No, you'd have to pay. In there, you do. Yeah. Along here, you don't, because. Yeah, well, there's no parking along here. Oh, well, I hope you don't. Oh, there you are. It says two one, hours gratis. Yeah. One hour, two, 2.1 euro. That's all right. Don't know why people are not paying it. To be fair, when me and Saf come the other day, I didn't even see this pay bit because we were driving up and down for about uh -huh. five minutes looking for the space. We got one, but I didn't even see this bit. It's like VIP parking. Look, AstroTurf parking. AstroTurf parking, that's what I want. I'm gonna, there's no uh, shade, is there? How's that for parking? And there's people on top of Shea Feet. Yeah, there are. Culo Dudo, as they say. Actually, they don't say that because Culo means asshole, <laughs> and Dudo is the conjugation of I doubt. Duda. What are you doing? Passing me when I get out. Duda, Duda. So, here right. we go. You all right? Uh, I'm all right. Oh, you take it. You manage. Yeah. Pressing on the buttons and stuff. Right, if you're going to walk up that, by the way, you, you start here opposite the other side of the road uh, where it dips down. You see the road going down that people are walking down. The start is there. Um, but if you're going to walk the whole circuit up that side to the left, it can be a bit sketchy. and take plenty of water. And don't leave your water bottles on the floor like a load of people do up there. Right, somebody said, I can't remember who it was, says go and have a coffee. Was it Mark? Mark LFC, I think, wasn't it? Uh, Mark Sweeney, was it? Was it Mark Sweeney, I don't know. I'm not sure. But he said go and have a coffee by Mercadonna. Will we lose signal on the day? I don't think so. No. So there is no coffee in Mercadonna, is there? There is, no, there's a coffee shop here, down here. Yeah, there's loads of coffee shops, there's like three or four. I'm wondering which one. Can me see. Oh, I've got a filmer now. Cameraman. Hello. Got it? Take it back off you. There you go. There you go. Wonderful. So, just the one. <coughs> oh, that's, oh, that one. One. That, that's what I was thinking of. Same place, isn't it, though? Oh, we've got the other side of this side. This is this coffee shop? I don't know, this is uh, 500 Monte plates Dico. or whatever it's called. Montastidos. Uh, in the corner. Which corner? Here we go. How many years saw you over there, Carl? Do you speak English in shops and restaurants? No, no, they don't speak English in restaurants here. Oh, here you go, Riga. Under Monte, Monte Dio, Monte Dillo's. That's where we are. We're here. Oh, we're at Monte. 
montaditos. A hundred montaditos, so mouthfuls, I think that means, or something like that. Yeah, normally in the daytime, they have that little thing open there as well. All right, okay. They have all the kids playing. And what do you fancy? Go in here. Put the zany in there. Uh, do you want to work? There you go. Oh, job S going. Send Laboral at Barbacoa fast. Cool, dude. There we go. Is that, is that out the back? Yeah. I'll get it. My treat. Thank you very much because I, uh, I, I used to no money. pay and I can't use my phone. <laughs> Do you want a beer? A beer, no. <laughs> You order. I'll have, I'll have a white coffee. Yeah, do you want a big one or a small one? Uh, just a small one. Hola, señor. Dos café con leche, por favor. Do you need sugar? Yes, please. Con azúcar. What happened with the beer? Doesn't want one. Doesn't want one. Too Ten, early. Tengo que manejar. No bebe, no bebe manejar. The twirlies. Oh, they do a breakfast as well, look. Yeah, two and a half euro. Bargain. That is a bargain. I think the coffees are two euros, huh? Mm. Oh, and the, uh, the orange juice is 125 extra. That's all right. Do you want one No, no, no. I'm, I've, uh, I've lost a lot of weight. So I want to keep it off. Muchas gracias, señor. I love that one as well. That white sugar. I don't know. Asuka. Molina Brown. I don't need one. Asking for wines. Eh? I can do with some white sugar. You know what? Asuka de Blanco. Solo para él. Molina es para mí. Ask me anything. Why I don't have brown sugar? Because he hates the Rolling Stones. <laughs> gives me a bad head. Brown sugar gives you a bad head? Yeah, it gets me green. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Never known to do brown sugar. Even if it's in something. <laughs> you know, like really? the isn't it? Oh, personally. I just thought you'd be in a pain. No, no, no. Can't, I don't. Want white sugar? Sure. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Should we sit out? Yeah, we'll sit out, yeah. Should we take your coffee? All right. How much was two coffees? Don't know, didn't look. <laughs> shade or sun? I'll, I'll have a look on my thing in a minute. You want shade or sun? Uh, whatever. I prefer shade to tell you the truth. Yeah. But what we'll do, we'll sit over here and then you can decide. Well, I'm going back UK tomorrow, so I better make the most of the sun. Okay, so stand and sit in the sun there, and then we'll uh, yeah, we'll do it this way. I'll do. We've got to get close because of the angle. So yeah. I'll come to you. There we go, ladles and jelly spoons are in well, the sun. Want to find out how much our coffee was? Yeah, because I mean, two fifty for a coffee and a sandwich. So I mean, the coffee's got to be a, a dollar, isn't it? Two forty for two. Yeah. So that's one twenty a coffee. That's not bad. That's, that's right, not bad. Yeah. So Craig is now going to tell us what uh, Monta. Oh, you can do it, can't you? Can you translate Montaditos? Colin, by a breakfast. Not hungry yet, mate. But translate what? Montaditos. Spanish. I think it's bites or something. I thought it was plates, isn't it? Could be. Uh, mouthfuls, is it? Or Mont little, little mountains, maybe. This place is a little hidden gem. Such a mix to choose from. A very good value, says Riga. It, and it. Weber says, good morning. Weber in the room. I'm in Armin Emi garage having a coffee. Off to pay my yearly residence taxes. Boom. Mon Montaditos translates from Spanish to English into Montaditos. <laughs> oh, do you have Spanish dicks? Hey. 
Spanish I've been accused dicks. of having some things, but never a Span uh, Spanish uh, dicks. <laughs> it's an app or a website, no, SpanishDicks.com. I haven't got that. No, go on to SpanishDict.com. Spanish. Spanish D-I-C-T, like dictionary, but without yonder. Spanish Dict. Dict.com. I'm putting Montaditos in there. That's a very good um, app, free app, for practicing your vocabulary. Hang on. And you can actually say Spanish it into the phone as well. It's free. You can actually pay um, a yearly amount and get a lot more, but um, you don't have to. So SpanishDict.com for all your vocabulary. Monta. And Spanish with Paul for your grammar. And then you can speak Spanish as good as me. <laughs> Open sandwich. Open sandwich or canapé on a slice of baguette like there it did. Up, like it said it was. Yeah, there we go. Monteritos is open sandwich, which is what we call it in English. I forgot it's a Google, isn't it? What do you like? Like a Monte Dito, mate. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Well, I've a Monte Dito. Never heard Monte of that. Monte Dito like. means, yeah, to mount or to place on top of and refers to the op open sandwich. There we go. There we go. Well, we knew that. Montar. When do you think I could ever move to Tenerife? full-time, when do you think you could move to Tenerife full-time, full-time, Carl? What, someone's asking me that? Yeah. Uh, minimum, minimum would be approximately three years. Yeah. In reality. And does that, um, have you got enough savings to last year or you need a job? Uh, oh no, I'd have to work. And what would I'd, you... have to, I'd have to work on two bases. One, I wouldn't have enough to sort of, you know, do nothing, mm -hmm. and two, it do me. I didn't do nothing. Right. Back in the UK, I'm massively busy, mm -hmm. and I can't go from being massively busy to sitting here doing nothing. Are you a full-time uh, DJ now, right? Yes. Yeah. So yes. that means, uh, are you, yeah. and you're registered with a business in Britain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of the uh, requirements to yeah. go self-employed here. Mm. Is to make sure that you've got a business plan and you've been doing the business for at least two years. I've been doing it for the best part of. By the time, in three years' time, it'll be over 20 years. Yeah, but not not, not full-time. Not as a full-time and not no. as a job with, with uh, paperwork to back it up. Uh, yeah, we're, only on a, we're part time with paperwork to back it up, yes. Yeah, but you yeah. Gotta, you don't show them the paperwork where you're earning nothing. I think, no. you've gotta earn, I think you've got to earn net two grand a month yeah. to be able to start a business here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Yeah. And it's two grand from where you are, yeah? yeah. So where you yeah. are. Yeah. Um, once you get here, you I would say, 60% of that is doable. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you're earning in Britain, 60% yeah. of that is doable here. The, the thing is as well, it's a different job over here. Uh, what I do back in the UK on a Friday night mm -hmm. will be totally different to what Rick does here on a Friday night. Although, right. although it's the same job title, yeah. it's, a, it's a different thing. You know, Rick walks in and everything's there. I'm not saying it is easier, but anyway, but you know, likes of Rick who does a karaoke compare, he'll walk into a venue, Everything's there all set up because it belongs to the venue. Mm. He just switches on, gets the mic and starts the party. Right. Whereas I have to literally walk into most venues with my own PA system. And set it up yourself. And set it up. It's like, like a wedding DJ yeah. would. And knock down as well. Yeah, and knock down That's as well. That's the worst bit. When I was in a yeah. band, they used to hate the singer because they'd walk in with their <laughs> microphone. With the microphone, and yeah. And say, where do I plug it in? Yeah. Mm. And, there's, and I say, well, help the bloody drummer, will you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. help the drummer. Yeah, so it's the same thing, you know. Ray says, you're not eating boys. Forgot to say, had prostate done yesterday, all fine. Well done. Nice one, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's there's my loads last, of comments. My last prostate exam was done by a woman what? and watched by another woman. Was it? Yeah. Oh. The prostate people were women here. I can't read that one. Navidinha a Tenerife. He's going to come at Christmas, he says. Monteritos means to mount. We did that one. When do you think you could ever move? We did that one. That's Mark LFC. James Kerr saying good morning. Oh, Paz is in. Paz, morning, Paz. How are you doing? Turkey in two weeks. Good to see us vlogging together. Como esta tu esposa, Tim? Muy bien, muchas gracias. Ella dormir acabo de. Levantarse, pero tengo que yeah. uh, revolver y recogerlo, recogerla. 
A uh, couple of questions there. Did they speak English in the Chinese restaurants I went to? Yes, they did. They speak English in every single Chinese restaurant over there, as far as I know. Uh, Ray, what kind of car did I get this time? Same company. Rick says, don't hire a car. <laughs> uh, I went through Auto Ryzen, um, and I got a Citroen C3, I think it is. Uh, yeah, Citroen C3. Uh, and it was, for the 10 days, it was 100 159 euro. 10, Ten days? Mm. It's about 15 bucks a day. Mm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All scarf, nothing worse than having to pack up early after a gig, getting all the band punters to leave you so you can pack down. I know. Well, that's a nightmare because what happens is, right, you finish at 12 o'clock, say, you know, you get your last song played or whatever, and then people are milling around then, and they'll mill around in the narrowest store where you've got to get your year out of. Yeah. And they'll wait for the taxis by that door and they'll have a cigarette at that door, and oh they'll have a God. fight at that door. They'll do everything at that one door where you've <laughs> got to get your gear out of. <laughs> 9.50 now, Tim. Thank you very much, Craig. This week's been really great for us viewers, seeing a lot of familiar faces popping up on the channels. Absolutely. it has been good. Gigged for years, Colin. Know what you mean. Retired now, Mr. Gigging, oh. but not the carrying yeah. care studio. Nothing worse than the gig. We did that one. Hi, Tim and Carl says, Pauline Lee Shaw's on. Morning, Lee. Six weeks to go. Uh, Tim, please grow up. Cole's place is closed. <laughs> you know? What? As a, as a troll. Oh, right. Um, I've, never, I've never actually seen that. I don't want to grow up. No. <laughs> I don't, why should I grow up? No, you don't need to. No. Life would be boring. I know. But, uh, but the, he made the effort to call his, uh, his troll channel. Cole's place is closed. That's when you know you've made it. It is. You know you've you made said it. That, you said that to me. And what I really like about it is they actually have to watch an advert to, to see this, right? <laughs> so they're actually paying me to insult me, right? <laughs> <laughs> How stupid can you be? How stupid? I don't know what I'll do. I'll pay him and insult him. <laughs> you should be renting cars off the Night Strider, says Gary Dev. He doesn't have any. He's very busy. If, if he was more competitive on his price, uh, I probably would. Because at the end of the day, uh, it's a set of wheels that gets you from A to B. Yeah. It gets you from the airport to your yeah. hotel. It gets you from your hotel to Siam Park. It gets you from the hotel to the wherever you want to go. And if if Andrew was... Uh, and, you know, uh, Morning, Shane Gorman. If he, yeah, if he's more competitive on price. But uh, the, the basic fact of the matter is whenever I have the quote off him, it's been over twice the price of a lot of other places. Uh -huh. So, unfortunately, I'm out. That's, that's it, it's by basic economics. More than all, that brings back memories. Seven Camisa is where I bought my daughter's yellow shirt to come to your birthday bash, Tim. Cool dude, Paul. Colin, buy a breakfast. No, we don't want that. I'm going backwards here. Signal fine here. Where is exactly this team? We missed the beginning. We actually started at Bia Mandi, yeah. or Villa Mandi, up at the top end of Los Cristianos. And then we had a walk around the park and the derelict bit that they're going to develop. And then we got back in the car and we've, we've now come down to Park Santiago 6. And uh, it's a shopping centre, supermarket, lots of cafes, very nice place to sit. Um, just up the road from Cheopita. And if you go straight down the hill, you end up in Las Vistas Beach. Yeah. yeah. And up to, uh, what's that place called? Tembel, not Tembel. Tal something or other. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. where the, where the uh, Lucky Sevens is. I came here in a week with Saf, and this little area here, and behind us, you can just see that sort of thing covered in white. That looks like a big wedding cake. That is like a little uh, like sweet fruit bar, and they do like smoothies and stuff. And in a week, because I get people saying, where's good to go with kids? Where could... Right, so you can get a, you can get a beer in there. Not yeah. that I'm promoting drinking, yeah. and the missus can go shopping, and the kids can play on the thing behind us. And there's loads of families here in the week. Yep. About one o'clock in the afternoon, loads of families sat here. For Zachary, Accrington, Stanley. Yeah. Let me show you around very quickly. So this is Mercadona in Park Santiago Six, and here are I think there's this cafe and one at the other end. Well, there might be two. Uh, this is the Monte, um, Montadillos, I think, no, Monte, what is it called? Montadedos. And uh, and Siete Camis, Camisie. Camisie, there we go. Foggy's on. Right, we're going to finish it here because uh, I need to go back and pay you some money. Do you know how much I owe you yet? 
I'll have a look in a minute. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Two grand. Uh, have we got anybody? Uh, no brainer call agreed. Thanks to you. Yeah, no, just surprised you don't get a con. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the car. Uh, what's your plans today, Cole? Um, Safi's just about waking up. She messaged me. Uh, we're off to Sign Park for a few hours. Quite a busy day, Sign Park for a few hours. Uh, off to see Crackmaster later on. Uh, I'll be doing a live tonight, a last live. <laughs> what time? <laughs> Not sure yet, be about seven o'clock. Okay. Uh, I'll do a little walk around somewhere. Um, then Saf has uh, specific, specifically asked to go to a particular restaurant for our last night, so we're going to go there. Little Germany? Not Little Germany, no. I did, I did try, but I should have it on a bit. Um, uh, and then I've got an appointment down Veronica's to do a live. Uh, not a live, a vlog. A vlog? Yeah. All right. Who's so, invited you there? Uh, or are you not telling us? I'm not telling you. You have to wait and see. All right. No, I'm on your I haven't got an appointment down there, but I, I will be doing my uh, <laughs> last night, late night vlog down Veronica's. Uh, <laughs> and then my flight tomorrow is... Uh, are you leaving tomorrow? Yeah. All oh, right. I thought you were leaving Thursday. It is Thursday tomorrow. You know, tomorrow. this is what I say about... <laughs> don't ever get a flight, Tim. Don't, don't ever come and live here. Don't ever come and live here. I know what you mean. The days do sort of blend. They blend into, together, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so we land back in Bournemouth for about four o'clock tomorrow. In the afternoon? Yeah. That was the early morning flight then? Yeah, about 11 o'clock, I think, half 11. So you got to get there yeah. at, what, nine, yeah, ten? Nine, nine, half, nine, oh, somewhere. Okay. And then uh, off tomorrow night, and then gig Friday, gig Saturday, off Sunday, and then Easter week's the week after that. Easter weekend from next Wednesday to next Sunday included and five days I've got nine gigs <laughs> over five days there you go goes in the Tenerife fund there mate it certainly does it certainly does which is why I couldn't just come over here and switch off and do nothing the only thing is <laughs> getting over here you do have to start the immigration in Britain now yes. you can't come over and look for a job and do all that yeah so what you really need to do is get your contacts in the next two years yeah yeah and then sort stuff out yeah, but we, uh, going we, autonomo, I think, is the only thing you're going to be able to do, unless somebody offers you a contract. Yeah, yeah. It is going to be autonomous. But offering right? Brits a contract now is really hard because the question is, why do we need a foreigner when there's Europeans that are unemployed? You know? Yeah. And so you've got to be a special skill set that you can't get here. It's a bit like Britain, you know, Britain only wants the best, you know, don't yeah. don't send me your, 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 your normal people, yeah. send me your doctors and whatever, yeah. you know? And uh, so Europe's the same. And uh, so it's, it's very hard, but getting autonomo, yeah. you really need to show a good business plan with a decent return and that you've been doing the job. Yeah. And, uh, and there should be no problem. Yeah. Because all you've got to do then is pay 288 euros a month yeah. as your social security. That covers you and your family. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, once you've paid that, then basically it's up to you to do all the uh, stuff. You've got to charge um, VAT right from day, dollar yeah. one. From day one, yeah. 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 And, uh, and do your taxes every quarter, I think. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so as long as you're doing that, you're all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. the thing, I've got, to, I've got to look at it as well long term, because um, the, the entertainment industry over here, uh, is it going away? That would be give me any longevity. Uh, and on my art, no, it isn't. Um, I think it's going to struggle without being too controversial. Rick might disagree. I personally think it's going to struggle a little bit. Uh, for various factors. It's going to change, I think. It's got to change. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's not going to be hand handy, it's a mimble, and no. it's going to be more cultural. Yeah, it's got to be. It's, yeah. it's, it's, got to, it's got to start appealing now to the people who will be coming here in 10, 20 years' time. Exactly. Tina Turner and Elton John, I said to Rick, ain't going to cut it in 20 years' time. No. You know, and the problem is there's no big, big stars coming up now where people can do tributes. Yeah. Uh, it's going to go more towards... Well, I don't know what it's going to go more towards. It's, it's going to go more towards sort of uh, live local bands and that Sex sort of Sex Pistol tribute would do well, wouldn't it? Hey, I'm an antichrist. Hey, I'm an antichrist. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Never say never. <laughs> Carl, I want to thank you for coming for a walk. I want to hey, thank yeah. you for coming to the island. I want to thank you and Saf for having a wonderful holiday and I'm coming and seeing me at least uh, twice. I'm sorry Saf didn't get up. But hey, no did, problem. I didn't want to push her, you know. She's met me once. You don't, you don't need to meet me again, does she? She says, who was that fat guy? That she that didn't guy? say that at all. Who was that sweaty fat guy? She didn't say that. Anyway, Saf, if you're watching, <laughs> I hope you're having a great time. Enjoy yourself at Science Park tomorrow. Have a safe trip home and don't worry. Do not worry about the flight at all. And um, we'll see you when you're over next time. You never know. Might be in school next time when you come over. There you go. Yeah, I bless right, Espanol. Yeah. It should be over sooner than that. That's all I'm saying. I'll tell you what to do. 
I'm, I'm really serious about this. Download Spanish Dict, D-I-C-T, and learn vocabulary, 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 chair, table, <coughs> uh, cup, because that's my biggest problem, is no so, vocabulary. Safa's done Spanish to GCSE, she's actually quite, yeah, yeah, she's, but she's, actually, she's actually pretty decent. I was Spanish surprised. on GCSE is different, because, oh, yeah. because yeah. it's an academic thing, right? Mm. Spanish with Paul is conversational Spanish, Yeah. and it gives you the stuff you need immediately to see results immediately. Yeah. And that's what the thing is. He doesn't start off with, hello, my name's Jim, what do you do for a living? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's I want, I need, I have, I don't have, yeah, I can, need. I can't, you yeah. know? Yeah. So these are the, these are the mental, things you yeah. They are really good. And it's $99 US for one year access to the database, and you get a discount if you renew the next year. But you don't need to. If you do it, if you do it seriously, and you don't have to do it every day. In fact, he tells you not to do it every day, mm. right? Mm. And just carry on. Do your vocabulary. Don't get any other stuff off him, because he, he does a lot of stuff you don't need, right? But just Spanish dict for the vocabulary, and Spanish with Paul, ninety-nine dollars for the year for um, the grammar, right? But then there's no substitute for living here, is there? That's true, but unfortunately, living here, you, you speak less Spanish here because Everything's of English. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah, if I speak Spanish, like the guy in there, he spoke English spoke, back to us. Spoke perfect English, yeah. didn't he? Because yeah. <laughs> they want to practice that as well. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go on anyway. Now. Yeah. Anything Everybody, major? No. Uh, any chance Cole could do Kev chill out bar? Uh, if I get a chance later, James Bolton, yes, uh, I'm down that way later. I'll have a look at it for you, no problem. What the chill box? No, uh, Kev's chill out bar. Okay. Yeah. What's your YouTube name, Colin? Cole's Place. Cole's Place. C O L apostrophe S Place. Yeah. I'm gonna change bad. that. I'm gonna change that. You said that last time. A bit to Cole uh, DJ or something like that. Or <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we could do um, Cole's Closed. Oh, that's taken. Cole, that's what I was already oh, gone. Taken. <laughs> Ladies and Joe Spoons, we've got to go. Thanks this everybody. is Tim Dowd and Cole's Place. For Living with MS Incendiary <laughs> signing off. See you. Cheers, Tim. Wouldn't want to be you. Not working. There you go. Did I press it? Did I press cancel? <laughs>